Fast. Going so fast, hope I don't crash One false move, that could be my last yeah. All these horses in my car got me going fast I just wanna do the dash, put my pedal to the gas What's going on guys? Today I got a pretty fun video I wanna talk who I think is better, uh, Lamelo or Lonzo Obviously I'm not talking about right now uh, But Lamelo, I mean just turned 17 about a month ago he'd just be you know starting his senior year at chino hills so i want to talk about who was better uh at that age you know going into their senior year uh, who's better uh lonzo or lamello so the first thing i want to talk about is just them physically i do think lonzo was like 18 his senior year so there's a one year difference but i do think the edge would slightly go to Lonzo. Uh, we all know LaMelo's grown a ton here. He might be like 6'7 now, rumored. And it looks like he's put on, you know, some good muscle. Uh, but Lonzo at 18, or his senior year, I mean, he was pretty skinny. I mean, he must have been 160, 170 pounds at 6'6. But I mean, he had, you know, two foot bounce. He had one foot bounce. Uh, right now, Lamelo's really got only one foot bounce. Uh, he doesn't really do a lot of jumping off two. Uh, Lonzo, just probably more, I mean, used to his body. Lamelo's still growing into his body, which there's nothing wrong with that. But physically, I'd have to give the edge to Lonzo, I'd believe. Next, getting into actual skills, I'll start with shooting. I think originally I would go with Lamelo shooting if this was a couple years ago. Obviously, Lamelo was kind of known as a shooter. I mean, he'd shoot from deep, uh, and he was just, like I said, kind of just known as a shooter. Uh, but recently, with his uh, Lithuania trip in the JBA, uh, he can't shoot. Uh, he's shooting like 20-some percent from three. Uh, on the other hand, Lonzo in high school, I believe, was a good three-point shooter. I don't know his percentage, but I mean, he went on to shoot 41% uh, from three at UCLA. So I could only believe, you know, he was at least close to 40, if not above 40 in high school. So I think shooting wise at this stage, I would believe Lonzo uh, would be the better shooter. Next is passing ability. And obviously this is something Lonzo is known for, uh, his passing ability. And Lamelo's is known more as a scorer. But I do think this is actually kind of closer than people actually think. Uh, Lonzo in high school I mean he kind of just made the right pass I mean he had that uh, you know outlet uh, football style outlet pass that he threw which is really good uh, but Lamelo's a really flashy passer and he shows a lot of potential as a passer a lot of times uh, like I said Lonzo kind of just more made the right play got everyone involved uh, things like that uh, whereas like I said, Lamelo was kind of is kind of more of a flashy passer, and he shows that potential. So obviously, I'm gonna go with Lonzo as a better passer, but I think it's actually a lot closer than people realize. Now, like I said, uh, as far as scoring goes, I think Lamelo is a better scorer than Lonzo was in high school. Uh, Lonzo averaged, I believe, like 25 a game as a senior. Uh, Lamelo, as a sophomore, averaged like 27. So, and like I said, Lamelo just scoring is what he does. He just, it's natural for him. Where Lonzo, I don't want to say it's not natural for him, but he's just not a scorer. He's a pass first point guard. Uh, in high school, he could get a bucket when he needed to, but he was more comfortable distributing the ball, stuff like that. Kind of like he is in the NBA now. Uh, but so, like I said, just kind of as far as scoring goes, uh, Lamelo's the scorer, Lonzo's the passer. Uh, that's how it is. In terms of rebounding, uh, I'm not sure who to give the edge to. I guess I'd kind of call it a draw. Uh, Lonzo, as a senior in high school, averaged a triple-double. I'm not sure exactly how many rebounds, probably like 10 or 11. Uh, and LaMelo here recently has been, I know it's the JBA, a lot more possession, stuff like that. Uh, he's been, you know, putting up triple-doubles and stuff like that. So I think it's pretty close. Uh, I know LaMelo's a really good uh, offensive rebounder uh, I'm not sure if Lonzo had that capability I guess I didn't watch like that when he was in high school uh, but LaMelo can really uh, offensive rebound he's good at that uh, and 
Lonzo, like I said, averaged a triple-double in high school. So I'm just going to call it a draw. I'm not really sure. Uh, you can let me know in the comment section below who was better at that. Now, defensively, I think they're pretty similar. Uh, obviously, we all know LaMelo doesn't play defense. And Lonzo was kind of like how he is in the NBA now. Back then, he wasn't, they didn't play any on-ball defense. But he had the instincts to kind of make plays off the ball, which was really fun to watch. Uh, I'd give the edge slightly to Lonzo, uh, just because uh, he had a lot of big blocks, I know, his senior year. Uh, Lamelo don't really see him blocking a ton of shots, uh, but they both, like I said, kind of play the same way, where they're not on-ball defenders, uh, they're more off-ball, but they use their instincts to make plays, uh, which, you know, is a different style of defense. Uh, people just think defensive on-ball, but uh, there's different ways to play it, I guess. So I would have to give the edge to Lonzo just based on shot blocking ability, I guess. Overall, I think that would make uh, Lonzo was a better player in high school, or at least his senior year. Uh, he would be one year older than LaMelo would be if he was a senior now. Uh, and so I guess he, Lonzo was better. But the one thing I will say is I think LaMelo is still a better prospect uh, than Lonzo. Obviously, Lonzo was the number two overall pick. Uh, you got to have potential, stuff like that. But I think LaMelo just shows such flashes at times of just being such a superstar that he has the superstar flashes uh, he just has to put it all together and i hope he does i hope we get to see that because i think he can be a really special player uh at the next level uh, just a matter of if he gets it all together uh and i like i said i hope he does so let me know down in the comment section down below who you think was a better player uh, did i get this right am i wrong let me know Hit the like and subscribe button and I'll talk to you guys later.